I think we often forget just how massive games are these days, or at least how big they can be. We're so busy worrying about frame rates that the business side is utterly ignored, and as fans that's fine. Why should we worry about that? But it still sums up just how massive these things have become, and why publishers release day one DLC and all that. It's all about raking in that cash. Some games make so much money too that even within 24 hours they'll smash what most people make in a lifetime. What a depressing thought that is. There you are working hard, and a toy is enjoying the good life. It's madness. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is 9 video games that make more money in a day than you ever will. Number 9 Clash of Clans With an estimated revenue of $1.5 million a day in around 2015, you can only imagine what this is doing today, but mobile app Clash of Clans is not only a beast in terms of collecting cash, but also for starting this trend in the first place. We may have had nonsense like Farmville that helped plant that seed pun intended, but it was Clash of Clans that spread out this idea, moved away from being browser based and threw in microtransactions to tempt players into buying their way to being more productive. In short, the concept worked very well. In fact, it won over millions of people, hence why it's now a very successful game that just craps money out like most of us do after a big meal. That was a horrible analogy, but it's still true. Still very, very true. Number 8, FIFA 17. Clocking in at around $1.78 million every day, it's amazing EA took as long as it did to introduce microtransactions to FIFA. I mean, it's one of the biggest brands on the planet and the audience is already there. All you gotta do is win them over with the idea and you quids in, which is exactly what happened with the series. Ultimate Team not only changed how much money FIFA was earning, which was beyond decent to begin with, but also became like a drug for some people as it tempted them back over and over again with that one more go mentality. Couple that with the request to drop a few pennies here and there, and it all soon adds up. Given that EA has introduced this across all its sports franchises, and you can only imagine how this has helped its bottom line. In that regard, we're not talking millions, we're talking billions. Reef. Number 7, Overwatch. $2.18 million every 24 hours is what Overwatch apparently makes, proving that it has become an absolute beast of a video game. I mean, it kind of was anyway. Remember what it did to Battleborn? Chewed that up and spat it out till it was dead. It's pure Blizzard through and through though, and the World of Warcraft developer just seems to get how to entice gamers to spend extra cash on something they've already spent cash on. Here it was with random dice roll loot boxes, which is basically gambling when you think about it. People love gambling, however. So that all makes sense. Each of these roles will grant you something new, be that XP or a fancy new outfit, and if you truly want to get the most out of it, you pay of course. Nothing in this life comes for free, and while you may think no one would do this, well you'd be very wrong. Loads and loads are, and will continue to do so for years. That's the model the developer has mastered, and it's one that's made them very successful indeed. Number 6, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. While its daily figure of $645,000 may sound low compared to other games I've already mentioned, the key with Player Unknown is that it's managed to smash all of this in such a short space of time. So it's got to be considered a huge success and a huge success that came out of nowhere. A mod of DayZ, which makes the whole thing even stranger, it was made by a handful of people and has already grossed over $100 million since March of 2017. I don't know about you, but that's a very good turnaround. I mean, you're not going to turn that down, are you? Basically, Battle Royale the game is utterly won over its audience as well, despite not being out of early access. And with the announcement that it will soon be on the Xbox One, this won't be going anywhere for a long time. And that means the brains behind it are probably set for life. Number 5, Madden. Taking around 1.57 million in the US alone every day, the Madden franchise is another of EA's cash cows that they've managed very well and continue to do so year in, year out. However, I'm not talking about the proper release on the Xbox One or PS4. Nope, I mean the Android slash iOS version, which is absolutely murdering people's wallets. While it is a good game, all it really asks you to do is manage a football team, and it wins you over with a very smart setup and decent mechanics which makes it fun to play. From the title screen though, you're encouraged to buy item packs to help your team, and guess what? A lot of people are okay with that and buy more and more each day. While most are at a very appealing price where it doesn't feel like a big deal too, there are also upgrades that cost $99.99 and some individuals still plump for then. I mean, this just wins. Wins everything. Number 4, League of Legends. Considering all League of Legends asks you to do is click, it's astonishing it makes around $3.6 million every day. All of that money for you to sit around and make your finger hurt. I don't get it at all. It's all the microtransactions as well where you can buy XP, skins and characters, but the audience shows no signs of ever stopping down. And this fact is backed up given that LOL has been going strong for years. This isn't an overnight success story, it's a bona fide giant that has probably been responsible for a lot of people buying gold houses over the years. All because he just had to buy that new hat. Hope it made you happy. Number 3, Pokemon Go. 
While it may not seem as nuts as it did in the summer of 2016, Pokemon Go is still massive and managed to take in around 5 million on a single day once. 5 million dollars. All because some people want to walk around the real world trying to find fake animals. Explain that to someone from the past, they'll just collapse and die. It's not like the low end of this is bad either. Although on a quote unquote poor day, Pokemon Go only generates around $373,000, it's still an absolute beast and every new update or addition seems to be coupled with a surge of players returning and investing yet even more money. There are no plans to stop this either. The developer even had a Pokemon Go festival in 2017. You don't do that if your product isn't silly successful and everything about this is silly. It's not even real. Number 2 GTA 5 We all laughed when Grand Theft Auto 5 came out and its online mode struggled. We all thought this was it, Rockstar had finally stumbled, and that was news in itself, because it never stumbled. Well, now the joke is on us, because years later GTA Online is not only a hell of a lot of fun, but earns around $4.97 million daily. Yeah, they really screwed this one up. It utterly changed how successful the franchise could be, which is crazy in itself because this is already the biggest property in all of games. It still sometimes tops the charts even though it came out in like 1268. It shows no signs of slowing and you better believe that when Red Dead Redemption 2 is released it will have a similar model because why wouldn't it? People love this and the developer clearly does too. I imagine it's going to be around for decades. Number 1 Candy Crush Saga Candy Crush is nuts. It makes around $2 million a day in the US by itself, and all this cash apparently comes from mums who have nothing better to do with the day. Or at least that's the stereotype. In reality, a whole army of humans are addicted to Candy Crush, and it just continues to get bigger and bigger. At least it's all one day. The thing here is developer King has an abundance of these titles, all bringing in so much money it would make your head spin. If you need an example of how much this may be, they even tried to copyright the term candy. When you're doing stuff like that, money has become no object. Just think of that next time you want an extra life or whatever the hell it is you're buying in this puo puo ripoff. Know of any other games that make more money than you ever will? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Then make sure you go on over to whatculture.com and read some articles and follow WhatCulture on Twitter. My name is Simon from WhatCulture and I'm going to be chatting to you again 